Alright guys, I'm just gonna do this bull terrier real quick, because I think once you get to a certain point, you've got to kind of force yourself to do some level of maintenance with the dog, understanding that I may not be progressing, but at least I'm not falling behind. And I, everything is in the details with this dog, because this is the only, honestly, time that it's really the center of attention. Because... Yeah, no, we've got the client dogs and all these things. Hi, Shelly. I hope you've been using your pager. I've got the sound box on. The reason I was going to do this one real quick, too, because he's deaf, so the sound box doesn't bother him. Uh, or he doesn't look when, uh, you know, and I just, I want you to think of it. Honestly, in some ways, like a hearing aid for the dog. Even if the dog isn't deaf, because if you said, well, how could you take words and make them physical? Well, from what I saw from that Helen Keller thing, you know, she was putting her hand on there. She was feeling the vibrations and all these things. So, you know, that's kind of what we're thinking. I'm just making the word a vibration. You know, that, that's, you know, as far as simplified. But as far as right now, I'm not going to start petting this dog. He's actually trying to get him over there and start rubbing it and start saying we're getting ready to start out, I'm going to engage the dog with the pager because that's why he's trying to grab this. That's my spot. And I, I'm going to I'm going to build, and I think you can see, if you went back and looked at the first video, he's a lot more excited now. Uh, you know, I built it up to that. Even this I can make him. Uh, just that alone. So I'm going to just... He's only got two behaviors. He should go on his hip. So I'm just doing the... So when I do my foot... So it's not a crutching, it's the cue. All right, so let me get my scrunch bills. So what I had got, it took me a month just to honestly, hi JC, it took me a month just to get the dog to pick the thing up. And that's the other reason you're gonna have to quit doing the tug, JC. They don't go together. You can't do tug and do this. You've gotta decide which is more important to you. And I promise you, we're gonna put your career on the right track. By adding this, I'm, I'm understanding where nobody seems to be able to know how to do this. I, it's somewhere something got lost, and, and the art of doing this got lost. I understand that because if you said I'm approaching dog training from an artistic viewpoint, you know, this is, this is the art of it. Because if I, the only reason I did this was because that uh, some friend of Cher's with the Bull Terrier was just tugging all over the place. Now this girl's all winded. She's slapping the dog. She's And the bond was so great. So I said, oh, no, these people are way off track. Let me get my Bull Terrier and get it to retrieve, which would be if you said Bull Terriers that delivered a hand are a dime a dozen, and it is a rarity, a rarity to see a bull terrier that tugs. I'd laugh and laugh, because we know that's not true. It's the opposite. So I'm doing everything to keep the dog out of my eye line. He's saying if she would just notice me, I'm gonna put it far away too, because this is the farthest away I've ever put it. I still haven't looked at the dog. Nothing is going towards him at all. If anything, he's saying to himself, you got to be careful. That thing will retreat. It'll retreat. All right, so now I'm just staring over there. He's actually running. Now, Mike, if you're there, I hope you're seeing this. Oh, who knows? That's going to be one of your trainees when you're here, JC. He'll be here. Don't worry. All right, so look, I'm looking... Immediately, 
and my immediate response is not point at it and say pick it up. Recoiling in horror. Write these things down, JC. This is your script. When it drops it, your, your character recoils in horror. We need to get you some professor glasses like these, too. Because what you're thinking of, really, this is just an extension of your delivered a hand. It really still isn't falling into retrieving because you're not throwing anything. And Jerry, I don't know if you're there, but you know what you're doing is just playing fetch. When you're taking something and waving it around and throwing it and all that, the problem with that is you're leaving it open-ended. If the dog decides not to put it in your hand, we have a name in the world of professional dog training. You're screwed. All right, we can do one more set. So, you know, there's kind of a beginning and an end. But even right here, JC, all the little subtleties in the details. I, I'm not seeing this. Look, I'm purposely putting it out of my eye line. He's saying to himself, oh, if I could just get her to notice me. I like to even have the look of shock. Watch this. You know, but he's got to say to himself, you've got to be careful. That thing will skittish away. And that isn't really a come to me. Remember, I don't know if you remember. Look, so I changed my hand. I know you remember this, uh, that TV show, JC. I'm going to tell you what you have to do. Oh, he'll try to bully me. Uh, remember the Munsters? Like when Herman would get real excited. Uh, you know, at some level, you have to have that. It was contained excitement. I immediately, I immediately went deadpan. And if you said, why did he suddenly come over there? Because he saw me doing that. So if this was a challenge, I'd be sweating it right now. Because if I did start, I want you to know, JC, if I started tugging with him right now, he would do it. He's kind of... He's operating, and if you said why, because he's operating closer to free agency than what he was when I first started. I'm not breaking my stare at all, even though I can see what's going on around me. Terrier Special uh, Olympics. I think they should have that. I think they should have. People love handicapped dogs. They're not even really handicapped. I think they should have some kind of dog, uh, you know, competition thing. Because I know they, they, like, had voted not to let, um, like, not to let deaf dogs go in agility and stuff. It's so sad. And if they could let them go in there with just a pager only collar, I can't see where that would hurt anybody. I, but I don't think they'll let him do that. So. All right, but I'm going to be right back with Crash. So tell me what you think, JC. It's, it, it took me a month of honestly just staring at this thing to even get it to pick it up. So I, if this dog can do it, you know, I want you to get to the point where you can just get every dog to do it. And if you said well, how that will make me better, it won't make you a better trainer. It will just make you a better trainer than Everybody else that doesn't know how to do that. <laughs> That's what you got to think of. All right, hang on. I'm going to be right back with Crash. And I've got that little wag, and I'm just going to use that uh, to hide some stuff in. To, this is we're working towards her little Easter uh, 
her little Easter Palooza thing she's gonna put on. All right, you guys will be.